Hi, welcome to Ray Purpose Made, home of one-of-a-kind custom furniture. See how I take regular old pieces of wood and turn into something extra special just for you. Picture it, a garden apartment in the middle of the city. That's more rare than an order of steak tartare. You know what that means, right? Cool, bespoke, outdoor furniture completely made of repurposed wood. You may recognize this backyard from previous projects I've done for Jay and Roxanne, like the string lights or the end table I made for them. But now it's time for more and bigger furniture because they have actual lights in the space. They can entertain a lot more in the backyard. So I was tasked in making actual like benches for them. Pressure treated wood is the only wood that's going to be sufficient to make an outdoor furniture. Um, you need wood that's able to get wet and not get rotted and ruined. So what I use is pallet wood. Pallet wood is the wood that you will see um, when stores bring in their new freight. They have they come on pallets. So I'm always searching the streets all the time looking for these big pallets so that I can then break down, cut, sand, and make what I want out of it. So when I did the things for I did the projects for Roxanne and Jay, I got lucky and just stumbled upon a whole field, literally a whole field of pallet wood. And I sat there outside in the street for literally two hours in the cold, taking all the pieces apart, and then I brought it back to my studio. <laughs> I originally set out to just make two benches for Jay and Roxanne, um, but when I made the first one, I realized that the longer an object is with this type of wood that's very, very strong and very um, unwielding, the longer the object is, the more likely it might be like lopsided or a little bit wobbly. I felt a little bit like a 3 32nd of an inch of unevenness on the first one, so I decided that I was going to make two smaller ones in addition to the one long bench. Now, when I mentioned the lopsidedness, it's like very, very minor to the point where you can touch it and it kind of like you see it, but if you sit in it, it's a perfectly planar object. So for that reason, I wanted to have things a little bit smaller so that I would have to deal with the unevenness because when it comes to pallet wood, you can't maneuver or bend it in a way that it will be as even as you want it. that the set of benches was one long one and two small ones, I wanted to make sure that the two small ones were identical. So they're twins, and then the other one is like their cousin. <laughs> Even though this bench is part of the set of three, I wanted to kind of relate to the pieces I already made out here. So I did the Infinity Heart wood burn on this piece like I did on the bench I've made earlier. I added lacquer to all of the benches to preserve them and to make them a little bit shinier. But because they're outdoor pieces of furniture, they're going to grow and age and change no matter what. I was told that this floor of the deck was actually this color originally. So I'm excited to see how these pieces, one, two, three, how these pieces grow and change as the seasons change and as the years go on. But one thing is for sure, it's probably going to last like almost forever. Pallet wood is extremely strong, extremely durable, and doesn't really rise. So it's going to be a piece for at least the next four or five decades. My name is Ray Purpose for a reason. 
finding found objects on the street, turning them into whole new custom pieces of furniture is how I started. And it was really, really exciting and fun to get back into that and do these pieces for JM Roxy. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you want to see more. If you click on that little bell on the bottom, you will be notified every Wednesday when I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and Gmail under Ray Purpose. Thanks for watching.